hello friends in this video we are going to be looking at security context it is something that can be part of uh, the yaml definitions this kubernetes manifest files that that you guys might be creating and security context is used to control the access of the pods or the containers within those pods so let's look at that in detail so let's start with actually just creating a simple pod based on busybox image in fact I'm not even going to uh, use a YAML file to create the pod it's a simple kubectl run command the name of the pod is going to be busybox1 based on this image and this is the command that will run after the container gets created right so now I am going to actually log into that the pod or the container within and let me run the id command that shows the current user id and the group id and all the groups the current user is related to or associated with so it shows that the current user is root and of course the group is also root and then it belongs to this this group right so basically this is the super user now if I run the PS AUX command it shows all the processes running within this container and all the processes are running as root user obviously a container is actually isolated by means of namespaces C groups etc if there is a misconfiguration human error happened these processes could get access to the resources on the host like the host on which this container is running you know the processes running inside the container could get super user access to the host resources and if a hacker had to gain access to this Kubernetes cluster by spinning up a pod and from from that container he can do a lot of damage because he's got the super user access to these host resources so now what can we do now I'm gonna exit out of this pod I'm going to show you another YAML file which is also for creating a pod based on busybox image. A few things are added here. So let's see. So one is actually this volume called sec security control volume whatever right and this is the type of the volume empty directory and you have all these you have one container and we are mounting this volume to this container and of course we are running sleep 600, uh, 3600 after the container gets created and this part is very important this is where we are adding the security context that I was talking about now the first thing I'm saying is any container that is created within this pod should have these specs right so those processes should run as user thousand and the primary group of those processes should be 3000 and this FS group is another secondary group or additional group that I am specifying this volume will be owned by this group any file created under this volume will be owned by this group 
okay so let's actually see all those things in action so I'm gonna go ahead and create this busy box 2 uh, pod so I'm gonna be using the same exec command to log into this one of these containers if I do ID you will see that it's going to be user ID 1000 and group ID 3000 and additional group is also there actually so 1000 3000 and 2000 so that's exactly what we wanted if I do a PS minus a PS AUX just to see the processes all the processes are running as the user thousand and if I do ls minus ld what's the name of the volume that we mounted this is the name of the volume that we mounted to this path and you can see that it is owned by root but the, the group the group owner is 2000 and that's because we have specified in the security context spec over here that it should be 2000 now if I create some dummy file like here right so first of all it says permission denied so let's actually go into data demo and try to create the file over there this is awesome so we are able to create the file here now look at the owner of the file that is thousand that's the the current user that's okay and the group owner is two thousand right so that's you know that's what we exactly wanted now the another detail that we want to understand is now if you see this yaml file the spec is basically for this whole pod right now I can move this spec to a particular container right so if this is under pod spec then the security context settings will be applied to all the containers uh, that are part of this pod if I move it to a specific container or multiple containers only those containers will have this security context right so basically you can put the security context under pod or certain containers now if you put the security context in both pod spec and container spec basically the container specs are going to override the pod spec settings so let's actually do this so I have another YAML file called node.js and I am creating another pod based on a node.js image so this is node colon slim it's a slim image and it's a node.js image and I'm specifying this security context called run as user thousand right so now let me go ahead and create this pod and I will go ahead and log in the same way now here is the surprise if I run id command you will see that it is running as thousand user thousand one thousand but you can see the user name and that's because like some containers or some images come with pre-created users right so if you look at this uh, password file you will see that there is a user called node which has the user ID thousand pre-created whereas before when we ran the ID command in busybox2 container we just had 1000, 3000 and 2000 because these were not pre-created and uh, that's pretty much I wa uh, what I wanted to show you today and uh, thank you I will see you guys in my next video